Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this large classic silver and black earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. You are invited also to ask me anything in the comments and if you make beautiful stuff you are invited to share them on my Facebook or Instagram pages that are posted below this video. Down there you will also find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to my second channel with the fast clips. It's a good idea also to subscribe because in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads, silver and matte black. And here I'm using one color of 8 beads, which is silver again. And here I use earring findings. You could use in sil silver or in black color. Here I'm using in black. This is Nemo nylon thread that is uh, 0.2 millimeters of thickness or size D and it is also black. I'm using about an arm span of thread of this thread to make the whole earring without adding thread and I stretch it before I use it. If you want to know more about the qualities of the different threads you could see this tutorial here and the whole playlist for beginners that explains the bead sizes and the needle sizes and the tools. Okay so this is size 11 beading needle you could do it with size 10 or 12 as well. These are scissors. Okay, and it's time to start. Okay, guys, and what I'm going to do first is pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have 12 of them, three times four, and I'm going to slide those down. Okay like this and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot really easy. I'm going with my tail thread twice through this loop I've made. Okay, I'm showing slowly to be visible on camera and I will make one more knot and in this way I'm sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. Now what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. Just like this. And I have this circle of beads here, guys. And now what I want to do is pick up five of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, I have here my five and what I'm going to do is keep the next bit that's coming on my way and go through the following. Then I'm going to take five more. Okay, I have five again. Skip the bead that's on my way and go through the following. Okay, guys, I have this and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, and here I am at my last step and pay attention where I go. Here through this black one. Which is the first one that I started my work from. Okay, now what I want to do 
is go in this direction through two silver beads and I'm going to take five black beads okay I have my five here and I'm skipping the one that's here in the center you see this one and I go through the following And then here guys I take one black bead and I go here between these and these beads that are from one side of my petal here and I want to exit here next to this bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take five more okay I have five skip the top and go through the following then one go between those two side silver beads of my petal then take five okay skip the central and go here and take one Now guys, half of my petal is ready. Repeat this one from here and meet me. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat from this side. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am, you see, at my last step where I need to add my last black bead here. And I'm adding it in the same place between those two side beads here, connecting them. Now what I want to do is go through two black beads in this direction and I'm exiting next to this bead that's sticking out the most and here I want to take three silver beads skipping here the top and you see what I do I'm going through the bead that's next to the top okay now I will go also through the following black okay now I'm here you see and I'm going to take just one silver of those atos and I want to go through two black beads in this side okay this is basically the step that I'm going to repeat until the end First take three and as I'm exiting next to the one that's sticking out the most I'm skipping it and I'm going through the following black. Then I also go through the following black. You see where I am. And I want to take just one silver of the Atos go through these two in this direction exiting next to the top and or to the angle and at three and go go directly to the next two just to save time take one eight two and go like this okay now i did half of my work and you should continue and do the other half and meet me here okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last eto bead here and i do this now i'm exiting here at the top at the silver bead and i will continue by adding three black beads just like this i'm taking them and i'm going back through this silver you see what i do going back in circle like this okay now i will do something differently i will go here and exit out of this silver and now i need a silver tree black beads and a silver okay 
and I'm going through this A2. I have this and I repositioned my thread to exit out of these two black beads and I will also go through the next silvers exiting out of the top. Okay, these two steps I will be doing until the end. I will show you again. I'm taking three when I'm here at the top of this silver. Going back like this. Then I go through all of those beads in this direction because my goal is to exit out of this silver and now I need a silver, three blacks and a silver. Okay, this is what I have and I'm going like this. Okay. Then through all of those beads in this direction. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. It's easy. Top silver, three. Go back and through as many beads as you can in this direction in one movement to save time. If it's difficult, do it in two or three movements. Okay. Then I take this, one silver, three blacks, one silver. And I go here like this. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and now I'm going through these beads and exiting out of my last step. Here is where I am at my last step and I'm taking the same sequence of beads and going like this. Now guys, I will do an additional step that is not obligatory, but I like how it sits when I do this work. Okay, so I'm exiting out of this silver bead and I wanna go through the next silver and then through those silvers here. In this way, guys, I'm connecting the silver beads that I added. Okay, I'm going through this silver. Then in the same direction. Through this one and through this one. Like this. Then through this and through those here. like this and I will continue until the end okay guys and here I am where I'm connecting my last two beads of the silver row and what I want to do is go through this silver here and I want to go here at the top where my top black is. And now guys, what I do is that I flip my work because I will continue in this direction. And I'm, as I'm right handed, it's easier for me to go like this. Okay, then I go through the next black and this row will be really easy. I'm taking two black beads like this. And I'm going through these three. Okay. Then I take two more black beads. And I'm going through these three. Two more black beads. go through these three and on and on until the end I connect those beads with two blacks 
and it's really easy and it's really pleasant that is why I'm going to see you at the end of this row okay and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row now I'm exiting out of this bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take a silver 11 0 a silver 8 0 and a silver 11 0 and I'm going back through the same bead that's sticking out the most okay then after I'm here you see where I am exiting out of the top bead I'm going through three black beads after that and I'm going to take five silvers. Okay, I have five here. And I'm skipping one, two, three beads and go through the one that's after that, after the three beads. Okay. So here there are one, two, three beads where my silvers are and my goal was to exit here at the top now at the top you might see what i'm taking from here i'm taking one silver one eight oh silver and one eleven oh silver and i go back then i go through three more in this direction And I'm going to take five and I skip one, two, three and go through the fourth like this. Then when I go through three more, I'm here where the bit that's sticking out the most is and I'm going to show you again this step three and go through this one and through three more and five skip three and go through the fourth okay and i will continue this until the end and i'll meet you here if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind and repeat this one from here see you in a while okay guys and here i'm adding my last five beads from this row and now guys my goal is to exit out of this eight row here at the top And here what I'm going to take are three black beads, just like this. Okay, now I have this. And what I do is that I go in this direction. And my goal is to reach my silver five beads. Then I'm going to exit here where the bead that's sticking out the most is and I'm going to take five blacks. Okay, I have five. I skip the one that's sticking out the most and I go through the following. Okay, this is what I have. I exit here at the top and I need three black beads. I'm going like this. Now I want to reach here guys through all of those beads.
and here I need to take the same sequence of five beads. Okay, five. Go here. And I'm sure if you have done it up to here, these two steps and these two steps, you will be able to do this by yourself until the end. If not, rewind and repeat, 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 and I'll meet you here. Okay, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do, guys, now is a row of connection. And how I do this, it's really easy. I go through those three black beads here at the top. Okay. And I want to connect them to these black beads. And how I do this, I take four blacks. And I go here from the inside to the outside with these four. Okay. Then I go through all of those beads like this. I take four and I go here through those beads. And again, I take four. And I go like this. Okay, and this is what I'm going to be doing here, guys, until the end, adding four and connecting those beads together. And I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last four beads from this row just like this and now what i do is add the last row which will consist of silver beads okay i'm taking three silvers i'm exiting here next to the angle i'm skipping the angle and i'm going through as many beads as i can after that okay then I go through these two beads and I'm at the next angle and I'm taking three again, skipping the angle, the bead that's sticking out the most and going through the next two beads. Then I will go through as many beads as I can in this direction because I want to be next to the angle and I'm going three silver beads here taking them skip the angle and go through as many beads as i can if you even can reach the next angle it is great take three skip here And continue until the end, adding three beads at each angle and I'll meet you. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next is add my earring finding. Before that, by the way, you could go and reinforce your work around the edge to make it stay nice and tight. You could even use different thread, not soft nylon thread, but uh, you could use fire line or you could use uh, monofilament or just go several times with the nylon thread. Another trick if you want this to stay firm is to put some transparent or maybe you call it clear nail polish over your work and in this way it will stay without moving okay now i'm here at the top and i want to add my earring finding and i'll show you how i'm doing this i'm taking here my earring finding and i take a black bead my earring finding 
and one more black bead and then I go back here through this silver okay and I'm going to reinforce it okay reinforce this several times when you're ready go here to the inner side of your work and after maybe reinforcing that i mentioned make here a loop and go once go second time through this loop you've made then make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from and then pull and you could repeat this knot several more times when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread okay guys and now my large classic seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorial tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me